Georgie here. It's been a great week here in God's Garden. I hope you've all been having a beautiful week wherever you are in the world. I just want to remind you that we still have our outdoor activity bags here, which you can come to church and use and go around our campus anytime that you'd like. And my mailbox is still here too. So feel free to write a letter, draw a picture, write a poem, whatever you'd like. Put it in my mailbox and I'll make sure to write back to you as soon as I can. Also, today we're gonna be doing another outdoor activity. And this time, George is gonna lead us in that. So let's go see what George is up to. Hey friends, it's George here. Uh, and I'm at church here right by one of our pine trees. Uh, actually just behind Georgie's mailbox. Uh, and like Georgie was saying, I'm gonna share with you a little nature craft that you can do um, either here at church or at home or up at your cabin or at camp or wherever you might be uh, this summer. This is something that you can do with only a few materials that you need. We're gonna be making paintbrushes, but not just any kind of paintbrush. We're gonna be making paintbrushes out of evergreen, spruce, pine, any kind of pointy, bristly tree, just like that. And all you need are a few things. You need a few clippings from a tree. This will be your actual brush part. You need a stick. I have a couple uh, because maybe you want a thicker brush, maybe you want a thinner brush. You need some string, any kind of string, rope, fishing line, wire, uh, or you could even find like a piece of really tall grass. That could, that could work as well. And if you want scissors. Uh, but you don't necessarily need them if you're able to cut the rope or cut the grass or cut the tree uh, with just with your hands like that. So all you do, it's really simple. You take your stick and you take your clippings and then all you do is just tie it around. Tie it nice and tight until you get something that looks like this. And there you go. You have your brush. You can break out your paints. Another thing that you can do uh, instead of using paints is grabbing water and making uh, kind of instant pictures on your sidewalk or on your driveway. And they dry up a little quicker, um, so you kind of have to work fast to make your different paintings. Um, but there's so many different uses that you can uh, use these little brushes for. Uh, be them paints or be them with water on paper, uh, on bark that's fallen off of trees, uh, or on your sidewalk as well. Another thing you can do with your sticks is you can make them into a frame. Um, and you can use your wire or your rope or your uh, long grass to tie those and lash those together. And you can put your picture inside of your wooden stick frame as well. So that's another idea. The outdoor paintbrush uh, and your outdoor frames as well. Uh, something that you can do anywhere outside, uh, wherever you are this summer. I hope you're doing well. I miss you, I can't wait to see you. We've got a couple events coming up that your parents can read about in the newsletter. Uh, and you're amazing. Love you all, bye-bye.